Hey guys, it's George. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me for a night out in London. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to voice over this tutorial thing. Um, especially when I do my makeup anyway, just so I've got builders outside, they're really noisy. So I just thought it would be easier if I like voice it over, but I'll still show you like obviously what I put on and I'll just like talk over if there's anything exciting to say, you know. Um, but when it comes to like doing my hair, I'll just show you what I use and then again, I'll probably just voice over it. Um, and then when it comes to my outfit, I will just show you it, talk you through it briefly. And then yeah, I've got to go. Um, so tonight I'm going to Flight Club in Islington with a group of friends. So it should be fun. Really looking forward to it and like seeing everyone. But yeah, if you want to see me get ready for a night out in London, then please keep watching. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy. So the first thing that I'm going to use is my Gold Light MAC Strobe Primer. If you guys have seen my channel before, you know that this is my favourite primer to use. Um, so yeah, just apply this all over my face with a stippling brush and then we will just adjust my hair, all that good stuff. And then moving on to highlight. So this is the Sleek Highlight in Poppin' Bottles. Um, I've been using this for a while now as like an under glow thing to the skin. Um, and then next, going in with my Too Faced foundation in the shade Golden Beige. This is sort of the, the colour that I use when I have a tan. Um, so I don't know if you guys can notice, it looks a little bit weird when I first put it on my face, but like I promise it will sort of look alright at the end and this is just what happens when I first do my foundation. And then just use a brush to put it on and then blend it in with a sponge. And then using my e.l.f. concealer, I believe this is in the shade Sand, but obviously I'll link everything below. Um, just apply that everywhere and then blend that out with my Beauty Blender. And then next, using my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. As you guys know, this is actually my all-time favourite powder. And just the thing that I go to sort of on an everyday basis. And then just, you know, take a big brush and press that all in. Next, I am taking my Wet n Wild Contour Kit and just taking the contour shade and sort of trying to sculpt out some cheekbones just to make it seem like I have cheekbones. Um, put a bit on my nose, around my forehead and around my jawline as well. Just to, you know, give the illusion that I've got a skinny face. And then going in with the pale colour, I'm just putting that under my eyes to like brighten and set the concealer a little bit more. Just because sometimes I find that my concealer creases a bit. And then going in with my MAC Miner Mineralized Bronzer in Dark Golden. Literally the same bronzer I've been using for years. Um, my favourite bronzer. I'm not really sure I'm going to get another one soon because I just love this one and that's what I will use for a while. And then next going in with my Makeup Revolution Blusher in Lovestruck. Really been liking this recently. Um... Really nice little bronzer. And then finally to finish off my face, I'm going in my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the colour Soft and Gentle. As you guys know, a classic. Oh, there's me trying to do a cheeky eye reveal. Um, so I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star and Morphe palette. This is kind of just a palette which I feel has enough colours that I can use for like an easy everyday eye makeup look. So I just set my face with a sort of white nude shade and then I go in with a light orange then I go in with a dark orange and then I go in with a dark orange and then I just add like a gold shimmer on top of that so you'll just see me trying to blend all these together and just going back in with different brushes just blending them all together until I'm happy with the colour of my eyeshadow And then here's when I realised that I've actually forgotten to draw my other eyebrow on. So I quickly go back and put that in. So I'm just filling in some gaps. Um, so I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Ash Brown. And as you can see, just sort of tracing my normal brow and bringing it down. And then just, you know, darkening it up a bit. Because I find sometimes I get gaps in my eyebrows. So I'm just actually going back and forth with that with a spoolie. And yeah, just just carry on doing that for a while and then I'm going to take my Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade 3 I want to say and then just sort my brows out with that and then taking my NYX eyeliner, I can't remember the exact one but I'll link it below and just adding a little wing on the corner of my eyes as you guys know I just do only like the outer corner just because of how hidden my eyes are and then next taking my Ardell Foam Wispies just on some duo lash glue I'm just going to stick on some false eyelashes And next it's time for lips, so going in with my NYX Free Spirit Lip Liner, I think this one is. I've been using this a lot, my um, combination that I've been using in my everyday makeup video, I've been really liking. So going in with my Free Spirit Lip Liner, and then for lipstick, taking MAC Honey Love. I used to be obsessed with this, and now I've like recently found it, 
and then taking that ASOS mini lipstick thing that I can't really remember what the name of it is but I'll add it in and then just set this all in place I'm using my NYX setting spray and then moving on to hair so I'm taking like a really old I want to say it's like Tresemme um, heat protector and then like this big heat curling brush thing if I can find them online I will link them below um, but the heat spray is just to protect your hair and because obviously I've got a lot of bleach in mine already just got to protect it and then just going in with this big like heat brush I sort of like flick the ends up to create a bit of a curl I find using this brush before I go out it just really makes my hair look more sleek and just a bit more styled than it would if I just chucked a brush through it and this is the finished outfit obviously I haven't got my shoes on yet I'm just going to wear black boots but like these great Jamie jeans I've literally had it forever from Pretty Little Thing and then from Pretty Little Thing from Topshop Jamie jeans from Topshop, this belt that I've got recently from Pretty Little Thing and then a bodysuit from Boohoo. I'm just going to throw on some boots because it's like raining but hot so didn't really know what to wear but this is the finished outfit. Um, so thank you so much for watching my get ready with me, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you next time.